Hello and welcome to our channel. Now in this video, we're gonna tell you how the cast of 1978's Superman has changed. I'll show you what they looked like back then in 1978 and now in 2022 how they changed compared to when they were in this movie. Alright, let's go. Margot Kidder in the movie, she plays Louis Lane, a reporter for the Daily Planet, who becomes the romantic interest of Clark Kent. She was 30 years old, 1978, and it was with great sadness that Kidder passed away on May 13, 2018 at her home in Livingston, Montana, age 69. Hmm. Uh, well, um, uh, I assume then that the... the red ...people's lives, their livelihood, and the planet as we know it. So I want you to close your eyes, visualize all the spots... Christopher Reeve, in the movie, he plays Superman. He is a being with great strength, flight, and invulnerability. In 1978, he was 26 years old, and it was with great sadness that he passed away on October 10, 2004, at the age of 52. One thing I do know, son, and that is you are here for a reason. I mean, the two of us were such a partnership, and... Um... Really, you know, he almost knew what I was thinking all the time. Marlon Brando, in the movie he plays Draw L, Superman's biological father on Krypton. In 1978, he was 53 years old and sadly passed away on July 1st, 2004, at the age of 80. I'm not given to wild, unsupported statements. And I tell you that we must evacuate this planet immediately. No one, uh... Hear the word mafia mentioned. Cosa Nostra. All old guys. And Charlie Budo. Gene Hackman in the movie he plays Lex Luthor, a scientific genius and businessman, Superman's arch enemy. In 1970s, he was 48 years old and now he's 92 years old. Fault line itself. Which, by the way, is uh, target zero right here. Ooh. Did you, did you like that movie? Yeah, I did. I, uh, it was probably my favorite film, a uh, favorite film to work on. Yeah. Um, it didn't work too well at the box office, but... Um, it was what they would... Jackie Cooper, in the movie, he plays Barry White, Clark Kent's hot temper boss at Daily Planet. In 1978, he was 56 years old, and it was with great sadness that Cooper died on May 3rd, 2011, of natural causes at the age of 88. Acres of worthless desert at incredible prices. Golly, that doesn't seem to make sense. The world doesn't make sense, Kent. You ought to know that by now. Look at this dispatch from Addis Ababa. Didn't do that. So Hal brought us in. And uh, that was the start of, uh, of a lot of things happening. That was 19, beginning in 1929. Ned Beatty, in the movie he plays Otis, Lex Luthor's clumsy minion. He was 41 years old in 1978, and it was with great sadness that Beatty died of natural causes at his home in Los Angeles on June 13, 2021, at the age of 83. Yeah. Why am I not reading it? Because I haven't given it to you yet? Right. Wonderful <laughs> book. Uh, I think all of the actors brought the book to the film more than having that Trevor Howard, in the film he plays First Elder, head of the Kryptonian Council, who doesn't believe Joy Al's claim that Krypton will perish. In 1978, he was 65 years old, and it was with great sadness that he passed away on January 7, 1988 from liver failure and cirrhosis and Arkley Barnett at the age of 74. No, it's worse. It's genocide. Be warned, jor -El. The council has already evaluated this outlandish theory of yours. I've been to several since, several subsequent prisons in the world since then. But I, the, my first, uh, uh, <coughs> what was I going to say, pleasure, my first entrance into the army was into prison. Glenn Ford, in the movie he plays Pa Ken, Clark Kent's adoptive father in Smallville when he was young. He was 62 years old in 1978 and sadly passed away at his Beverly Hills home on August 30th, 2006 at the age of 90. First thing we got to do when we get home is find out 
who that boy's proper family is. I had fresh eggs for a while. <laughs> and I'd give the extras to Jimmy Stewart or Dinah Shore or nice. Lucy. In exchange for his vegetables? Jimmy's vegetables. Valerie Perrine in the movie she plays Eve Stashmasher, Lex Luthor's girlfriend and accomplice. In 1978, she was 35 years old and now she's 79 years old. If I didn't think you'd let me later. Thank you, Mr. Stashmasher. Why is it I can't get it on with the good guys? Let me check back with Valerie. What do you think? It's perfect. Oh, I'm so glad you think so. I love it. Jack O'Halloran in the film he plays Non, Big and Dumb, the third of the Kryptonian villains sentenced to quarantine in the Ghost Zone. In 1978, he was 35 years old, and now he's 79 years old. This mindless aberration, whose only means of expression are wanton violence and destruction. Yeah, General Zai was a vicious general. Sarah was a man-eater. Somebody had to relate to the children. So I took this brutish guy and played him like a child. Rhea Shaw in the movie she plays Vonda, like jor -El, a top Kryptonian scientist, but she's also unaffected by jor -El's theory. She was 52 years old in 1978, and it was with great sadness that she passed away from pneumonia on April 26, 2005 at the age of 79. It isn't that we question your office. The facts are undeniable. It's your conclusions we find unsupportable. Und die fingen jetzt an, uns das Live vorzuführen, sich auszuziehen. Und es sollte losgehen. Und da hat der arme Junge mich erkannt. Thanks for watching the whole video. If you like this video, please share it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel to support us in producing.